Hello, my name is Alex, and today we're going to talk about a topic that I started learning recently, and that is building dedicated servers uh, for Unreal Engine. Um, so I started learning a little bit about um, what multiplayer, how it works. So I'm still fairly new to the topic, but um, here we can talk about a little bit of what a server is and what a client is. And basically a client is when you're playing the game uh, and you're connected to a server, you're the client. And obviously the server is the other one on the other side. So authoritative servers, um, game servers, they basically dictate what happens in the game. So every time you um, earn something, it happens on the game and then it gets broadcasted to the client. In that way, it's really hard to like add mods to a game and affect everybody out uh, on the network. Because whatever happens on the client, it's not going to reflect on a network if it doesn't happen on, on, a, on the server. So in this model, you have everybody connected to to a client server and there can be so everybody's like running on the same server in this instance and same in here like well here everybody there are different clients but there is a client server if someone is playing here it would have an advantage over uh, everybody else because there will be no ping there will be no delay on on the response and here everybody is dependent on the network and uh, how how much latency there is to the client server um, so in this scenario like this guy has a, a, an advantage so um, what we're trying to achieve is that every, every client connects to a server and there is no one uh, playing and so since there is no one playing also there's no need for um, graphics so it makes it easier for the server it doesn't it needs the GPU to it doesn't needs to be doing um, calculation so it's just working on the underlying layer so I wanted to talk about dedicated game servers but not only about the process of building in Unreal I am a DevOps uh, engineer, and the first thing that came to my mind was, hey, how can I put this on a pipeline? How can I build an image? How can I use that image of the container and, and push it to Kubernetes? Um, and how can I um, deploy and scale um, dedicated servers? Um, so I recently visited KubeCon uh, in Chicago, and I learned about a product created from Google. Uh, it's called Agonis. Agonis uh, provides uh, the resources of Kubernetes so that you can create game servers, you can create fleets, and you can auto scale um, fleets so that the more traffic you have, you can create more uh, available channels for people to play available servers. And the more important thing is how you scale down to save on resources. So Agonis uh, takes care of shutting down the servers once they are uh, allocated and then completed. If there's no one, um, the SDK takes care of the uh, deletion process on the background. So yeah, Agonis, as I said, it's in Kubernetes. So it provides uh, you a controller that allows you to handle this new kind of resource called game server. So the game server uh, specification is really similar to a, uh, a pod specification. So you got the ports, um, you have the containers, you have health checks, you can, um, bind the container port to the host port. And you can, so since it uses a pod internally and it uses a container, um, you can also specify anything related to the container um, on the manifest. So if a game server, if an Agonis game server is a kind of a pod, that means that there should be something uh, available for deployment and that is the fleet 
The fleet is similar to a Kubernetes deployment. And as we can see here, we got the replicas, um, and we have the template. And on the template, like you can specify the game server data, just like on a deployment, you can specify the pod details. Um, and same here, you have the health check and you got the template for the containers. And this will allow us um, to deploy game servers and scale them up and down as, as however we need to do. So, um, yeah, let's talk, let's stop for now talking about theory. I think we got a good overview. So we talked about, um, what a game server is. We talked about the different types of, um, gameplays that we have, a local client and then, um, client servers. And then we have the servers. Um, so here are the clients, client servers, and a server is without the UI. So we're going to talk about uh, building a container version of the game server on Docker um, and how do we put it on Kubernetes using Agonis. So let's jump into it. So today I'm going to be going through um, the Unreal Engine tutorial for multiplayer. Uh, Unreal pro provides uh, a game called Lyra. Um, Lyra is a multiplayer and it, it already has uh, the game server set up. So in this case, uh, I had to do some extra step to build it for Linux. Because to build for Linux, you need to um, compile Unreal Engine from the source using Visual Studio. And after compiling Visual Studio, uh, you have to compile. You, you, you're able to compile uh, a Linux version from Windows which is the main platform I'm using right now. So Lyra, as we can see, um, you know, here we have uh, how to build the client and how to build the server and how to test the game that it get its server. But in this case, this is running from, for, for Windows. Um, and what we're gonna be seeing later on is this, is the game that we're gonna be playing. And um, let's jump into it. So this is the build I have for the game. As you can see, it creates a, a bash file. And this is very simple. It runs the, um, it runs the game server that's in here. Um, but Obviously, we don't really care much about the game server at this point because we're not talking about the development of the RPC calls or the interaction to spawn actors um, inside of the game based on some event running on, on the server. We're not talking about this right now. We're talking about the DevOps process to deploy a game server into the cloud and using um, Kubernetes. So in order to, if, if you've done Kubernetes, in order to start working on Kubernetes, you need to have an image. So um, it is a very simple image. So we can look at right now, go through it. Um, I'm pulling Ubuntu 20, um, making a directory called app. Um, I copy the Linux server content into the app directory. Then I add a user called Unreal Engine 5. I make sure that Unreal Engine 5 has access to app by changing the ownership of this directory, um, this user and it groups. And then after that, I switch to the Unreal Engine user. I expose the port 777, which is the port that um, the, the, the application will run with and also make sure that I am exposing UDP because this will run on UDP. And after that, we go to the entry point and, and the entry point uh, takes care of running the application. So yeah, um, that's, that's really cool. So, but how do we do it, right? What do we do now? So um, we have, uh, I already have the 
specifications for, for a fleet and a game server. As we saw early, um, game server is basically similar to a pod. Um, you have health checks, you can route, uh, you can bind ports. Um, then you have the container spec specs. And from here, like you can um, use any settings that uh, that a pod has. So, but we want a scale, right? And, and, and simple pods and in the they, they cannot scale alone without a deployment. So that's where the fleet comes in. So um, in here, we're going to be creating a fleet with two replicas. We're going to be um, scaling it to up to five. Um, later and then we're, we're going to use the image that was built and yeah that's about it okay so now let's build the docker file um this is a very simple docker file um so let's go ahead and um, run the build so here we're going to be using a local registry on micro k eggs which is um, the version of Kubernetes I'm using on my um, cluster. So yeah, let's do this. Great, so it's already built. Um, so now that we have a built image and let, well, let's do the push, right? Um, let's copy this to use it later. Um, it's not git, um, docker. Push. Okay, now that we have our image pushed, um, we can now go into the fleet. Um, so first of all, let's do um, kubectl get game servers and check that there's nothing running or get fleet. There's nothing running, right? Um, and we don't have it. We have any pods? No, there's nothing running. Right, so let's go ahead and build, uh, let's go in. I'm not gonna run a game server, I'm gonna run a fleet and the fleet will have the game servers. Um, so, okay, um, create dash F, and then the name is fleet. And as we can see, create it. Um, so now we can do K okay, get um, fleet. And we have currently um, two fleets. Um, yeah, we got one fleet. And then we can do k okay, get um, game server. And then, as we can see, we have two game servers. They're scheduled. So let's do k okay, get um, pod. And as you can see, we have two. Um, we have two pods already running, so this means that we can play. But before that, uh, let's scale it up. So uh, let me check. I don't know the command, but let me search for it. Rep. Yeah, okay, here it is. Keep cuddle, scale fleet, the name of the server and the replica count. So here um, we're scaling it up. So now if we do um, get game servers, we have two, uh, we have five game servers. They're starting. And then we got the fleet, five. And then the pods, we have um, five pods available. So now let's do, so let's play the game, right? Let's talk, let's now see uh, the game in action now that we have um the game servers and the fleet running let's open up some sessions so we're going to take the one here um we're going to current connect to this one using this port they're all on the same address at different ports um so we're going to take 75 25. let's do this we running one two and three let's hope this doesn't blow up Already getting blasted in. Okay, great. So here we are. Um, let's join the red team. It's about to win. 
Um, I don't even know how to play the game. So here is one of my friends. I'm gonna kill it. And one well, of my blues. So you saw the guy on the top right, left. And let's find another blue. Let's kill him. Yeah, I just killed the guy on the left. And we, I won. My team won. I already knew we were winning, so. Okay, great. So we finished the game demo. Let's go back to Kubernetes. Let's do KGET. Uh, GS. Game servers are still running. Um, and then I am going to start killing. Let's do the K delete. Okay, so we just deleted um, the 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 fleet. So let's take a look. Okay, get get fleet. It's gone. Game servers. They are um, terminating, and the pods. Yeah, the pods are terminating. Once the pods are terminated, um, then the game servers will be gone too. Let's wait until they finish. They're gone. There should be no game servers, no pods, and no fleets. And now, if I want to, well, if now if I want to play the game, like it will not run. Okay, so um, we talked about game servers. We talked about what multiplayer is. We talked a, a little bit about what it takes to build uh, Unreal Engines for uh, game servers for Linux, and then how to take the game servers from Linux, deploy it on Docker, to then put it on Kubernetes so that you can have high availability. The great thing about this workflow is that it's no, it's multi-cloud, um, it's multi-availability zone. So anywhere that you can run Kubernetes in the world, you can you can use this technology to deploy your, your game servers. Obviously there's a lot still to cover in terms of performance, in terms of matchmaking, but that will be like for, for future videos. We're gonna talk about matchmaking using open match. We're gonna talk about proxy, um, on the sessions so that there's better access to the game server from within the, the cluster. So a lot of other fun stuff that I'm looking forward to, to bring into the video. I think it's really cool. Um, you're able to do this pretty, uh, at a low price. I was able to run this on a, my local uh, Linux machine. I didn't have to like do anything to, to really deploy it. There are already services that can provide you with high availability uh, and dedicated services, but they're paid. So some of them is like Photon, um, PlayFat from Microsoft, and I'm sure they're pretty much a lot, but I think the Agonis part is really interesting. If you are looking into, if you already have a good infrastructure, you're good with Kubernetes, and you're looking to build a custom experience, for your dedicated servers, I think Gonus has a lot of potential. And even PlayStation is looking to move to Gonus to have a, a better availability across the entire world. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was useful. Yeah, very cool topic. I uh, hope you liked it. You can leave some comments. Let me know if you have any other topics that you want to explore. Thank you.